Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on September 25th, 2018. Welcome to another video from Mike with Morning Dew. This is my daily video, which I normally get out about weather and earthquakes. And looking at some beautiful images of the sun here, some fiery filaments ripping away from both sides. Amazing images love to share those with you and here we're looking over the last seven days of images over Canada and you can see the storm that brought the three tornadoes to Ottawa the very strange extreme weather event that happened there thoughts and prayers to everybody who has lost their homes and there were a few lives lost it's it's crazy that these kind of extreme weather events are even happening in Ottawa especially tornadoes that is a high latitude for that to be reaching tornadoes up there. Pretty crazy stuff. Looking at this tropical storm developing in the Atlantic. And as I posted earlier today, quite possibly downgraded by something, by our governments. But yes, big northern push of cold air and this is why we're getting all these extreme weather events straight across our nation our great nation of North America and it's happening in Europe as well these cold temps are reaching further down and they're mixing with yeah a very warm climate looking over the next five day forecast here over Canada parts of Canada still showing a lot of blue Cold temperatures persisting, possibly 5 to 10 centimeters of snow on the weekend throughout parts of Alberta. Things are changing drastically. And here is tropical, subtropical storm Leslie. Doesn't show it going anywhere for days, sitting right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Another tropical development here. This is Rosa heading towards Barbados later in the week. Could quite possibly be a category two by the time it hits Barbados. And then we have another tropical storm developing here and heading towards the west coast of North America later in the week. We'll see if they end up injecting that high pressure ridge that's right in front of them to demolish it. As I said, they are, they are in control of our weather and they have been for a long time and they're getting better and better at it. Just saying. But yeah, parts North America, very cold. And then overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Now watch this. I've been watching this large low pressure center in the Pacific, and it's going to join forces with two other low pressure centers, one that isn't, wasn't able to go through the Aleutians. So wow, watch for a seismic uptick in the Alaska region. Atmospheric compression earthquakes, most likely in Alaska, Aleutian Islands over the next five days as those low pressure centers go across. Also looking at Typhoon Trammy, who is stalling right now, gaining strength and losing strength back and forth between a five and a four, but then a downgraded to a three, hitting J Japan, and you can see those large, large cloud tops. It's gonna bring a lot of rain to parts of Japan. They have been ravaged this year by severe weather events, extreme weather events. Stay aware and prepare, folks. A grand solar minimum is going to increase volcanism, therefore increase cloud cover. And also, the cold temperatures from above are going to be mixing with our global warming climate. We haven't had 8 billion people living on this planet doing what we're doing. It's got to be global warming. It's, it is hot, but it's not all due to man-made heating 
These extreme weather events are happening because we're going through a solar minimum. Extreme cold mixing with extreme warm. It's balancing out the planet. It needs to cool down. Yes, there's nothing wrong with a mini ice age. I'd welcome it. It can cleanse the earth of all the carbon and the heat. We can see parts of Europe here, lots of snow, heavy winds and rain, snow in the higher elevations. Compared to the South Pole, And then here, south tip, South America, large low pressure center, moving in, bringing a lot of snow, higher, higher elevations, and still tropical, large tropical storms through Buenos Aires. And yeah, let's get to earthquakes for the last 24 hours. It's been a while. I didn't do an update yesterday and I apologize, but I am here today. So this is the last six hours for earthquakes. It's been pretty quiet. The largest earthquake being a 5.2 here in Peru. Minas de Marcona, Peru. That is the largest earthquake. We had a bunch of fours ring off in the West Pacific. Indonesia, and New Zealand here, but nothing deep. So the, I guess that's good. We well, the East Timor is 232 kilometer depth and 204 here in Guam. So yeah, very quiet time and we don't have any space weather affecting us right now, but there could quite possibly be a geomagnetic magnetic storm from the filament eruption on the sun and you'll see that in the last bit of this video here I'll be showing you the filament eruptions so this is the last seven days for earthquakes around the world I want to thank you for watching today this has been Mike with morning dew daily events worldwide stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning dew Next forecasted area. South Sandwich Islands. Thank you.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.